Hey everybody, Frugal Farmer here. Making more lice soap. These are some silicon molds. I kind of like these molds because you get a good five ounce bar out of this. And um, these are my trimmings. Some of these larger trimmings are off a uh, loaf of soap that I waited too long to start cutting and didn't cut well. So I just trimmed it up. And um, what I'll do, I'll pour my new batch on top of this. Both of them are the same, they're lice soap. And this has already sp uh, gone through the spophonification process. Uh, sorry if I don't pronounce that right. I'm lucky I can't spell it nor pronounce it. And uh, this will just make for a larger batch of soap for me. Now, I also use these trimmings in my homemade um, laundry detergent. And they work very well in that. I use about 10 ounces in that. And uh, if you want that recipe, click on the video on the bottom left and that will carry you that recipe. And you can use other soaps. I'll go over the other soaps you can use in that too. But if I've got the trimmings, I, I trim the soap with a, a, a potato peeler. Uh, when they come out of these molds, a lot of times you have a little edge on it where, where it over, overlaps right here. And it, it's, it doesn't take any time to trim it. And uh, I've got a nice size bucket full of trimmings. So this will make a batch go further. As a matter of fact, I'm making 45 ounces and I'm hoping that between all that that um, I'll get um, 24 bars out of this and I've got more so I'll make another batch um, a little later on and I've got a bunch of molds so what I do I normally let these molds cure out for a day and um, then pop them out trim them and set them up to dry I let them dry for six weeks and uh, that completes the drying process makes them harder and the uh, spophonification process. This normally takes a couple of days from what I've read, but I just like to make sure everything's cured out. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like, hit that subscribe button. God bless.